What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back and ready to kick off yet another brand new to me show. This one's actually been asked for a few times. Probably, probably pretty up there in the in the people suggesting things list. If I were to compile one, don't really know what I'm getting into with this one, which is sometimes the best kind of shows that I could watch. So this is going to be season one, episode one. I don't know why I'm doing a two when I said one of the Fosters. Let's jump into it, shall we? Getting out today, huh? That's what we heard. Why are you so quiet, huh? He was all mouth the other day when I couldn't front you in the shower. Lost my job privileges because of you. <laughs> What the hell? Hey, it's Steph. I'm other working. She's beautiful. Hi, Lena. Yeah. I'm David. Where's Bill? He was supposed to meet me here. Oh, a kid in one of his foster homes. Oh, deep. God. Yeah, it's terrible. I'll take it. He told you about Callie. It seems that she's been having a few issues with male authority figures of late. That's why he thought of us. Right. She got into a fight with her foster father. He's been a friend of the family. She is so twins, pretty. Which, Holy shit. I cannot shit. bring someone violent into my house. Well, this was just a one-time thing. Listen, it'll only be just for a few weeks. Oh, my goodness. When the kids get out, some of the other inmates get jealous and pick fights. Wait, I... One second. Callie. I'm David. I work with Bill at Child Protective oh, Services. Rough. Where's Jude? Do you know where he is? I don't, I don't no. Bill, I need to speak to him. Where's Bill? Why isn't Bill here? We'll have to talk about that later. I don't understand why I can't talk to Jude. That's enough. I don't know what you're talking about. Callie, this is Lena. Lena Callie. I guess I could take her to one of the group homes. It's just for a few weeks, right? Okay. She looks so sad. So, you know, Mariana and Jesus were in the foster program, too. They came to us about eight years ago. We formally adopted them five, five years ago. ago. Foster system sucks. It kind of does. Okay. What happened to your face? How about we cool it with third degree? Where's the bathroom? Right through there, you see it. So, where'd she come from? She's kind of familiar, too. <laughs> I talked to Bill. So you remember him? You know, he was in a bind with Callie. And he needed some place for her to stay. She's had a rough time lately. Okay, I really need you guys to be extra nice to her. What were you talking to Bill about? Guess. I'm gonna wait until everyone was home to talk to you guys about this. Have a seat. To find out when we could set up a meeting with your birth mom. Thought you would be more excited. It's kind of all you've been talking about for the last six months. Yeah, I know. I did just... I don't think so. Did Jesus talk you out of this just because he doesn't want to go? Don't look at me. Changed my mind is all. <sighs> so did you guys do your homework? What? Why you gotta look at me like that? Hey, hey guys. how was the audition? It was good. Um, I made the finals. Oh, this is fantastic. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal. It is a huge deal. A five thousand dollars scholarship, isn't it? When is it? Tomorrow, and we're all going. So homework. Who, who's this? Oh, this is Kelly. She's gonna be staying with us for a little while. Okay, staying with us. Well, nice to meet you. What about him? What? How'd you get him? <laughs> 99 cent store, I mean, they have everything. Brandon is my partner Stephanie's biological son from her previous marriage. Hey, honey. Hi. Zanya. Morning, honey. Good to see you. Wow. Hi, babies. Nobody told you our mom's a cop? This is why no boys ever want to come over. As it should be. So you're dykes. They prefer the term people. They're gay. And he's the real son. Damn! <laughs> hey, who's this? Oh, shit! She's a little rough around that. Several edges. times. Yes, I know. You never left a message. What do we know about this girl with our children? What happened to her face? She got beat up in juvie. Lena. I know. I know. I talked to Bill. She's not violent. It was a one-time thing. We can't save them all. It's just for a few weeks. I'm telling you, if you had been there and seen the way this girl looked at me. I know you only did this out of the goodness of your heart. And I can't get mad at you for that. Oh, mushy. She's very soft spoken. Do, uh, the blonde. Bring kids home more often. No, please do not. Any more kids, it's gonna be like the Brady Bunch around here. We're definitely not the Brady Bunch. Right, the curfew on a school night is seven. You'll go to school while you're staying seven. here. Seven. Lena is the uh, vice principal. Here. Where do I sleep? Excuse me? It's not my first time in a foster home. Where do I sleep? Let me show you. One pillow, two. Okay, I'll leave them both. I left some towels for you in the bathroom. Do you have a toothbrush? How did Gotten a toothbrush. Okay, Callie, we're on your side. You can take it down a notch, okay? Yeah. I noticed you were really upset when you were talking to David earlier. Who's Jude? Look, um, you and I went into juvie, so I'm close for you to sleep in. You want to leave your clothes outside of the bathroom? We'll wash them, make sure they're clean for tomorrow. Good night. You were saying? Got that toothbrush? 
Qué rara esa chica. Cállate. Hey, you guys know the rules. No se habla en español para hablar de la... Very good. Ah, gracias, yeah. señor. You two know that it's not true what Callie said, huh? That was me. Oh, no. This thing? Okay. I love you, my babies. Nice. Mm, 50 minutes till lights out, okay? Damn. Hey, baby. Hey. Hey, listen. Um, I like his hair. I really need you to step up while Callie is in this house, all right? Between you and me, Callie was in UV for a little while. Then what is she doing in the house? She's fine. Lena and I would not have her in this house if she was not. You know that. I just need you to, uh, I don't know. All right, well, I'll be sure to, I don't know as much as I can. Are you sure you're not Lena's biological son? So much homework to do. And Moby Dick waits for no man. Which reminds me, do you need condoms? Oh, my God. You and Talia are using condoms, yeah? The door is right there. Protect and serve. It's my job. <laughs> <laughs> My little baby is growing up. I'm so Get out. handsome young man. She looks so familiar. Uh, you look like you sneak in. Oh, I needed some water. Y'all got the washer and dryer in the bedroom? Okay, so I've been thinking, and I know how mad I would have been if you would have made such a huge decision without consulting me. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm okay. She's not exactly the, the warmest kid I've ever met. I really appreciate you making the effort. Of course, Pamela. She is so pretty. You know, I just think that that poor girl has been through so much. I'm just really glad we can give her a place to stay safe for now. For now? As long as she doesn't mess with our family. It's all good. <laughs> Do you want to hear something strange? <laughs> sure. I talked to the twins about arranging a visit with their birth mom like we talked about. Mm -hmm. And now, neither one of them wants to do it. My Mariana? Nope. She said she's not ready. Good. You two are kind of cute, huh? Hey, baby, it's me. Yeah, I'm out and I, I'm coming. I promised Jude. I just, I gotta figure out how to get there. Did you take your pill, sweet knucklehead? I'm on it. Like you're on the toes. Good morning, sunshine. Oh, help yourself. Make yourself at home. Backpacks? Yes, I saw Mariana. Everybody give me a yes. Jesus? Backpack. Good job, baby. Good job. So are you nervous for the night? I'm not nervous. You got it. Good morning. Cool you are. I heard that pep talk. Would you like some cream? Ah! Well, can I have some coffee, too? No. no. Hey, Brandon, why don't you show Callie around? Uh, and you have your class list, Callie. You're going to love Timothy. He's a lot of fun. Well, damn. Go to school here? Yeah. I want to go to school there. Timothy's room. Damn. It's over there. You'll find it OK. So I wanted to go practice. Practice for what? Music finals for that competition tonight. All right, we'll see you. Y'all got a problem? Hey, wait up. What is that? What? The song? I wrote it. You wrote it. Snack, huh? Yeah, it's for the contest. One classical piece and one original composition. It's about the night Mom and Lena asked me if it was okay for the twins to come and live with us. How is it about that it doesn't have any words? Listen. Okay, so... That's me. And... These are my moms. This is all of us. <laughs> me, That's Mom, pretty. Lena, the twins. You see how it all works better? Nice. Uh, I don't know. Still think it's missing something. No, I like it. Wait, they asked you if the twins could move in with you? Were you saying no? Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I figured there was enough to go around. Enough of what? Everything. Hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Who's this? Uh, this is Callie. This is Talia. She's going to be staying with us for a while. Welcome to Anchor Beach. Thanks. She's actually in Timothy's room with you, T. So if you want to show her where it is. Of course, but we should go. Have fun. Did he participate in his own transformation? Did he will it? Did he want it to happen? Or was it something that happened to him? How about you, Callie? Callie? No, you haven't read the material yet, but what would you do if you suddenly woke up and found yourself living a nightmare? Oh, hey. Say by the bell. Hey, so I've been thinking I'm going to go with you to meet Anna. You don't even want to meet her. Yeah, I know. Look. I told you. I don't think I'm ready. That's why I'm trying to go with you. No, thank you. Hey, hi. hi. Um, what's your name? Aiden. Uh, it's me. You new here? Yeah. New girl. Just uh, moved here, actually. And I could really use someone to show me around. Can be arranged. You have a car, right? Yep. <laughs> cool. Um, I was actually thinking about checking out San Ysidro. San Ysidro? Down by Tijuana? one I hear it's cool there. What, are you like looking to party or something? No. I just, I have someone I need to see. Yeah. No, thanks. Ah. Good luck. Yeah, you don't you back. And I 
Oh, no. you've been sneaking around. You've been sneaking around. Is there a metro stop somewhere? Ah. Uh I'll be right back. You going somewhere? Gotta meet your pimp. What is your problem? Too many of your brother's pills? Oh. Alright, I'm not gonna narc on you. And your mom's a cop. It's gotta suck. I guess. So are you leaving? Don't worry. I'm not gonna narc on you. I just have some stuff I gotta take care of. It's better if you don't know. That way if your mom, mom start asking you questions. Wait, if it were me, I'd make sure to go out the back way. Lena's office looks out over the front entrance. There's a bus stop three blocks from here. It's very parental driven. We want the parents involved in, in the process. We want them. <laughs> Captain needs to see you. Okay, all right guys, take it easy. I'll see you later. Hey, hey, you all right? Yeah. Oh, you're not gonna cry, are you? With all due respect, screw you. <laughs> Best guess was a pain in my ass. Hey, Matt. Sacramento can have them. Right now, since uh, I'm gonna pair you up with Mike here. <laughs> Ma'am. Is that a problem? No, it's not a problem. Uh, may I ask why? I asked. You did? Is that cool? Can I have time to think about no. it? I think it's very cool. Her last name is Foster. Right. They're yeah, like office. foster parents, and they're also Mike? the Fosters. It's not going to go well for me. Hey, hey, I need some money. Rude much? No, you've got your own money. I left my wallet at home. Come on, I didn't eat lunch. Too bad for you. I'm just going to take five bucks. Pay you back tonight. Jesus, stop. What is this? Nothing. Where'd you get that? Don't worry about it. Five dollars. Don't go eat and leave me alone. Oh, she been selling Who's his that? pills, not taking I, them. I don't know. My parents are going out of town this weekend. You want to stay the night? I'd have to sneak out. Or just tell them you're staying with Aiden. Ah! Brandon, hey. Yeah, hey. You want to go? Two seconds. Can you give me two seconds? So, uh, where are you going? Some stuff to take care of. Like right now? It's important. You won't be able to take care of it if you end up back in juvie. My mom's a cop. Seriously, think she won't track you down in like a minute flat. Just mind your own damn business. We're just trying to help Stop. you. Someone's been calling me from this number all day. Hey. Hey, baby, it's me. What's going on? What do you mean? Jude, what are you saying? Let me talk to Jude. Put him back on the phone. Who was that? Why are they calling my number? Uh, I borrowed your phone last night. I gotta go. Was it like your boyfriend? How they have my number? Well, who was it? It's my brother. Oh. Then let me call my mom. She's a cop. She can help. And no cops. She's not like that. Call your mom. Jude is gonna be stuck in that house. I gotta go. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Brandon? You went with her? Wait, didn't you have that music thing tonight? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't worry about it. There'll be others. So what happened at the house? Well, my foster father caught my little brother wearing one of his ex-wife's dresses, started beating the crap out of him. Seriously? He hit him? Yeah. I mean, he used to hit me all the time. Which, you know, whatever. But when I saw him going after Jude, I just... Well, I tried to stop him, but he kicked me in the stomach. So I went outside, grabbed a baseball bat, the hell out of his precious Trans Am. When the cops came, he told them that Could have beat the hell I out of him. crazy, and he was defending himself. Nobody seemed to care about my side of the story. Hey, sweetheart. You okay? I don't feel so good. My stomach hurts. I think I'm going to be able to go to Brandon's thing tonight. You feel like you're going to throw up? No. I think I just ate something bad. I really need to lie down. Yeah, go lie down and we'll see how you feel later. What's going on with Mariana? What do you mean? Um, why is she pretending to be sick? Maybe she's actually sick. Or it could be that time of the... Like say time of the month. I'm going to sign you up for a women's health workshop. Don't ever say that in a house full of women. Okay, geez. Well, if it's not that, then I don't know what to tell you. Hello! Hey, we need to go get change for Brandon's car. I just came down. I know. Now, Jesus, go. Where is everybody? Hi. Hey. What's wrong? Did you know where I have a Cali? I haven't even checked on her yet. I just walked in. Something's up with the twins. Meaning? Mariana's pretending to be sick. Uh-huh. Stomachache. And Jesus is all clammed up. Yeah. Do you think it's about Anna? Do you think maybe I'm putting too much pressure on Mariana? Absolutely not. I think she has just changed her mind. They're not ready yet. Really, it's OK. You keep me sane. <laughs> I don't know how sane you're going to feel after you hear what happened at work today. You're never going to guess who Roberts is partnering me up with. Who? Mike. Apparently, he asked for me. Huh. Do not go all non-verbal on me. It's not a big deal, honey. Mm. Why? It's really not. It's come on, honey. It's 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 Mike. It's just Mike. It's just Mike. <sighs> hey, Mike. Hey. You guys ready? Brandon, your dad's here. He'll be down in a second. Oh. <laughs> Brandon. So I hear you and Steph are gonna be back on the beat together. Oh yeah. That guy. This Steph guy is in everything. I feel like. I did. It was either me or a rookie. I was never comfortable when she was working with Vasquez. I, I just feel better knowing I'm around, okay? And we got the kids to think about. Okay, thanks. As a feminist, I'm totally offended and everything, but as her wife, you know, thanks. Don't tell Steph I said that. God, where's that kid? Brandon, shake a leg! We're gonna do this thing! Hey, Mike. Hey, 
Mike. You clean up nicely. Hey, why aren't you changed? Hey, he's not here. Yeah, they didn't walk home with us. I just thought he was showing her around. Her who? Her Callie her? Yeah. I mean, knows he has the music thing tonight. I don't know who this girl is or... So where the hell are they? He's not answering. I'm gonna try Talia. I'm sure he's fine. Why is he just, just answering his phone? Have you seen Brandon? Yeah, we Teenagers are so stupid sometimes. Yes, that one kept losing him. The last time she saw him, he was talking to Callie after seventh period. Maybe he's right. Maybe we're just overreacting. What are they doing in San Ysidro? What? Are they going to Tijuana? This is exactly what I was worried about. Let's go. I'll drive. Hey, Brandon and Callie are missing. What do you mean missing? I never came home from school. Oh, huh. Hey, you didn't take any of my pills, did you? No. Well, Mom just got me a new bottle, and now they're almost gone. What are you looking at me for? I was just asking. We'll ask Brandon or Callie. I gotta go. Y'all two look like you, you know, could be brother and sister, for real. You selling my pills? I know sure as hell you didn't get all that money from Mom. Or maybe you did. Maybe we should ask her. Why would you do something so stupid? You could go to jail <laughs> for that. What do you need all that money for anyway? I've been talking to Anna. Anna? Our birth mom? She got back in town last month. I found her online. You said you didn't want to meet her. I didn't want Steph and Lena sticking their noses all up in my business. They wouldn't get it. Anna needs some money. I just want to help her. For what? See, I knew you wouldn't understand. Understand? If this woman is not our mom, she left her two kids so she can run off with a dumbass. She abandoned us. Well, she came back. I thought you were supposed to be the smart one. Yeah. Hello? I need help. Yeah, Are you deaf or what? Can I help you? Yes, sir. I I, uh, uh, I was looking for the Metro. Right. I guess I got kind of lost. You lost? Yeah. All right, man. You got to go about six blocks that way. Whoa, hey! The hell are I you just want to talk no. to you. Just no, you get out of this house. Like... Hey, shut up. OK, I am sorry about your car. So get out of here. Don't touch her. Don't touch me. OK, 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 Huh. Who is that? That's her brother, Jude. Look, I, I was just trying to do the right thing. I'm sorry about the scholarship. It Brandon, I don't care about the scholarship. That guy had a gun. Get in there. That could have ended. Hey, Skippy. My brother used to have that backpack. Oh, that was on cool. the wall. Why would this could have ended very, very badly. If you want to send me back to Juvie, you just promise me Jude will be somewhere safe. You're not disposable, Callie. You're not worthless. Wow. Come on, yeah, let's go, let's go. We'll take them home for now, Bill. It's fine. It's fine. Call you tomorrow. OK. Hey, you know I'm going to kill you if your mom doesn't kill you first. I love you, B. I love you, too. I'm sorry. Yeah, but you didn't have to come. Yes, I did. Mariana? Hey. Wow. You're so pretty. Thanks. So are you. How have you been? She's Good. familiar, too. Back in town? <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to get back on my feet. You got anything for me? Oh, uh, here. I hope this helps. Thank you so much. Don't worry about it. You probably have to get back home, huh? Because probably wondering where you are. My mom's. What? My mom's will be wondering where I am. OK. Thanks again. Wow. And that's the first time you saw her? I'll make sure this guy's a terrible knight. I'll get a ride back later. I'll see you work tomorrow. Talk to Bill. He's going to make arrangements to come pick up the no. kids tomorrow. No. What does that mean? We are not sending these kids back into that system. Not yet. Are you sure? We really don't have the room. I'm on make room. Make room. Buckle up. I saw that look. Said I'm so. Say I'm better than you. Say you're sorry. I said. Got a full house. I feel like I can see myself probably really liking this. It's hard. I just watched the first episode of another show too, and I kind of felt the same way. It's it's hard to like really gauge how something is gonna be on the first episode of a show. This seems like it, this one might be one of those emotional, like might make you emotional sometimes. I was even like feeling when I saw Callie and her brother, little bro, the little one re-hug like connecting hugging i was like oh my god i'm already feeling like a little emotional and then when she the blonde the cop said you're not disposable that like hit me too so i feel like maybe that's the vibes that this is gonna be good music a cool setting i would say i'm i'm looking forward to how this is gonna how this is gonna go
I can't really say much more because I don't really get, I can't, you know what I mean? I don't really know what, what we're getting into, but uh, seems like the vibes could be okay. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. Let me know what y'all thought about it though, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.